if we're talking about elderly populations, we know that this virus is quite deadly. If you're thinking of waiting, the reason why I would want to discourage people to do that is because this virus is circulating so quickly and particularly with the discovery of the genetic variants, it really adds urgency to the need to try to protect ourselves from this virus. So you don't want to become infected before you've had a chance to get vaccinated. So there's a lot of information floating around that I think is fueling people's potential hesitancy about getting vaccinated. Some of it is wrong information, fake information, misinformation or disinformation sometimes spread intentionally. But then there's also a misinterpretation of, of actual information. And in the case of the deaths in elderly patients in Norway, I think it's most likely a misinterpretation of the data. So in the case of Norway, what happened was after being vaccinated, elderly patients with underlying health conditions died. The more likely interpretation right now is that this was a statistical probability that people in this age category with these underlying health conditions, unfortunately, can die. One of the things that they are encouraging their clinicians to do is to evaluate patients as they should be for any potential risk factors for vaccination, in particular people who may have had severe allergic reactions upon receiving vaccines in the past. One thing that is not a question mark is that this virus is a bad one and you don't want to get it. And if a vaccine can prevent you from getting clinical disease and prevent you from becoming sick enough to be hospitalized and sick enough to die, I mean, I, I, I particularly like that kind of insurance policy.